This is the Auriska, Auriska, <laughs> 200 watt. Look at the form factor on this. This is gonna be interesting. I mean, it's packaged up okay. It would be nice if it had some type of protection in between here. I'm happy to see this in here, something thick that went the whole stretch of the panel. I wonder if I could get this out with one hand. Yes, I can. Now that is an interesting sized panel <laughs> compared to those over there. I love it. They're not great for uniformity, but <laughs> they look nice. Now the real question is gonna be, what is the output like? And we'll deal with that in the video. The junction box is interesting. It looks like the little whatever stuff is kind of, you know, off center. Let's see what it looks like on the bottom. Yeah, that looks slightly off. Could be a one-off thing. Otherwise, the uh, frame is in excellent condition. So it had this protective film all around it, which is really interesting to pull off. It's not hard, despite what that looks like. <laughs> It comes off pretty easily. Oh, well, this one's gonna make me the liar, right? <laughs> Which is cool, they protected this black frame a good bit. Let's look at these specs here. 200 watts, 10 amps, 18 volts, open circuit is 22, short circuit is 11. So this is one of those, like it's kind of like a middle of the ground. It's a lower voltage, high amp panel which we know with some of our power stations, luckily it's not a lot of them anymore. They have that eight amp input limit, but most of our other things have like 10 and 12 and 13 and stuff like that. So this should be good for some of those panels. Like, I mean, power stations like uh, the EcoFlow River that's over there. All right, it's hooked up. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna look at the output and we're also gonna look at the amps because this has an eight amp input limit and this has a 10 amp. So we should see a difference here. So right now at this point, we're getting about 120 on the EB70 and let's, uh, let's look at some amps. Actually, before I get into that, let me see what kind of power the EB120 gets. Again, we got 123 here. So 130 something. And measuring the amps is gonna be important because I don't know how much I trust this screen. <laughs> so that's why I'm gonna look at the amps. Let's do that now. 130, one, whatever it was, 20 something. All right, these are the amps on the EB120. Let's zero it out. Seven amps coming off of that panel. So I can't imagine the EB70 is gonna get much less. All right, let's change it up. Just for continuity, 129, 130 still. Pop it over here, 110. Should go a little higher than that. As Setai pointed out way back when, the MPPT on this is like slow. All right, let's take it at face value and go do a, an amp measurement. Uh, pop it on, and that's getting less amps. I don't know why it would be getting less amps. So 5.5. So let's switch it quickly. I'm gonna do this all in one take. Let's go back. This one's still getting 112. Pop it in here. Let's see what this one gets. One thirty one, one thirty three. So about the same. And I'm sure that amp output is gonna be a bit higher. Back to what it was before. Yeah, almost seven. And then these are the sun conditions. It's a pretty bright day out, sunny day. Might be a little haze around the sun, but that's what we're getting from this Alriska. Yeah, you know I mean, it's not perfectly angled, but let me show you. I mean, I would dare say this is not angled great at all. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what I would be dealing with. Dang, I'll get your hand out of the way. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. Let me see if I can get this a little better. That's about as good as it's gonna get for me. A um, little bit off, so let's do some more measurements. This uh, champ right here is getting 150. Let's pop it in. All right. 
Let's see here. Oh, 140. Interesting. I'll take that. Now let's pop it in here. See what we get here. Come on. I guess I gotta try and shade that a little more. Now this makes more sense to me. I'll tell you why in a second. Because when we looked at that amp rating, the amp rating wasn't above eight amps. So it didn't really make a difference what kind of power output. The eight amp limit is only gonna come into play when this thing is really firing off on all signals. Solar panels very rarely do that. So, you know, this is 18 volts, 10 amps. That has an eight amp input limit. That has a 10 amp input limit, but this will have to be standard test conditions or STC to be able to get even close to that 10 amp input limit. So the fact that I see about the same amount of Watts going in here is good. That's a good look. So I'm happy with that. Ooh.